Groups such as bird flocks and fish schools can show an amazing degree of coordinated behaviour. In the last 30 years or so, computer simulations have explored the how. How such coordination can occur in groups of animals, sometimes numbering in the millions of individuals and spanning many miles. Coordinated motion with your neighbours is thought to reduce risk from predators. For example, in this acoustic video recorded as part of a previous study of predator-prey behaviour in the Gulf of Mexico, individual prey in the shoals are seen to respond both to predators and to their neighbours. The result is a high dynamic system with high levels of coordination between prey that help maintain the group and hence reduce the prey's risk of being eaten. To test whether being in a coordinated group really does reduce risk, ideally we would manipulate the prey's behaviour and examine what effect it has. Obviously this is very difficult and probably impossible with real fish or birds. So instead we developed a simulation, as shown here, that we could show to real predators to test whether prey in coordinated groups were more likely to survive. Each of the 16 prey is identical in appearance, speed and so-called repulsion behaviour, so that if two individuals get too close they move away from each other to avoid collision. But each is unique in their social behaviour. Some ignore the other individuals other than being repulsed. Some are attracted to others. Some align their direction of travel with their neighbours while others balance both attracting and aligning with other individuals. In our setup we projected the simulation onto the wall of the test tank as seen here and introduced a hungry fish. In this example the fish attacks a solitary prey which happened in around half of the trials. This shows that just being in a group whether coordinated or in a more loose swarm like formation helps the prey to survive. By isolating the frame where the fish made the attack, as seen here, and comparing it to the data from the simulation that was shown to this fish, we can determine which prey was attacked in terms of its unique social behaviour. What we find is that survival is greatest for prey that balance both attracting to their neighbours, so that they are often found in groups, and aligning their direction of travel with these neighbours to form coordinated groups. Part of the mechanism of why we think this happens is shown in this clip. The fish can be seen to approach the big group in the top left corner but decides not to attack. However, when the group moves it becomes split over the boundary of the projection and prey can be isolated and vulnerable. The fish is then seen to attack such prey at the bottom left of the screen. In contrast, coordinated groups where prey move in the same direction don't hang around in any one place. So, it appears that coordinated groups are safer by continually moving.